name is Tyler Keeler, and I'm a fossil preparator at the fossil laboratory here in Dr. Paul Serino's lab at the University of Chicago. Well, I, I have here the, a, a section of legs from the triple burial, and this is the section of legs that was excavated from the adult. What you're seeing here is the femur down to the knee, and then the lower leg down to the ankle and the feet. And the fossils were preserved in sand, so we hardened the sand with a resin so that the bone fragments wouldn't fall apart and scatter. So we have a section of the lower legs of the adult, we have the adult torso, we have the juvenile torsos, and we have the juvenile legs. When I'm all done with this process, we'll have a replica of each section that will fit together like a puzzle piece to recreate the entire burial. What I'm preparing to do now is to apply the first layer of silicone rubber to these fossils so that we'll be able to create an exact replica. The silicone rubber will pick up every detail of the bones. And once I've applied uh, enough layers of rubber, the final mold will look a little bit more like this, uh, about 3 eighths of an inch thickness of rubber, which is then peeled off of the fossil. The fossil isn't damaged in any way. And now into that rubber mold, we could pour casting resin and that yields the perfect replica of the original fossil remains. I finished the application of silicone to the fossil, and so now I'm going to saturate strips of glass cloth with plastic resin to create fiberglass, a hard shell to support the silicone, and that's going to allow us to uh, make perfect replicas of the fossil without any distortion. So I finished molding and casting all of the fossil elements of the triple burial. Now I'm ready to begin fitting the replica sections together and they should interlock and recreate the burial scene exactly as it was discovered. And I'm going to uh, create this metal frame around it that's going to hold everything uh, securely in that orientation. Finally, I'll cover all of that structure with uh, the same plastic resin that the casts are built out of and um, the last step is going to be to paint it.